I'd like to show you a feature that speeds up your development workflow. In front of me, I have a Daxter Cloud deployment setup. On the right, you can see the asset graph. On the left, you can see the definition for those assets. I am going to add a new asset and commit my change. This kicks off the GitHub action to upload this code to Daxter Cloud. Typically, this could take anywhere from three minutes upwards of five minutes sometimes uh, of time that you would spend waiting to see the effect of your change in Daxter Cloud. We build a new Docker image, upload it to Daxter Cloud, where a new container is provisioned and the new code is run, from which we extract the new asset graph. We want to make this whole experience better. So I'd like to introduce fast deploys. Uh, I've switched to a different deployment now. Uh, it's an identical setup with fast deploys enabled. I am going to do an identical change, add a new asset, commit it, and this kicks off the fast deploys workflow. This is different than the earlier deployment workflow in that we don't build a new Docker image and upload it. Instead, we just package the Python code that you have and upload it to Daxter Cloud, where we run it in an existing container. This allows us to save a lot of time. And if you happen to change your dependencies in setup.py, we detect that and rebuild it, uh, rebuild the dependencies and upload those as well. As you can see, we're about 30 seconds in and the deployment's already reloading. Um, only in a few more seconds, we should we see that the actual the new asset graph is available. I can actually just refresh this page and see my new asset right there. This is ready to run. And meanwhile, if I go back to Docker based push, uh, it is still building the Docker image. After which it will upload it, and, and then uh, it takes a lot longer. So let's not wait for that. Instead, I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how this works. So how do fast deploys work? The key idea behind this optimization is that when you make a code change, instead of rebuilding and deploying an entire Docker image, we can rebuild and deploy only a smaller slice that contains all of the code that has changed. For this, we use something called PEX. PEX is a tool that, given a set of Python code or Python packages, will bundle them into a single file called a PEX file. We actually use two PEX files, one for your source and one for your dependencies. Once these PEX files are uploaded onto Daxter Cloud, we run them on, we still run them on top of Docker on a standard base image. We have a set of four standard base images for Python versions 3.7 through 3.10. It is possible for you to build your own Docker image and upload it, and it can be used as a base image to run these PEX files. So fast deploys are now the default for all new signups. If you already have a setup with Daxter serverless, we give you, we will provide a simple set of instructions to switch out your GitHub workflow or CI CD workflow to use the new fast deploys. Um, and of course, fast deploys do work with branch deployments and can be invoked from the command line interface as well.